Okay, folks, this is Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center. And today we're going to talk about a unique trade we just got in. It's a 2009 4012 Inferno. So this is a toy hauler, and it's pretty unique. Make sure you stay with me to the end because I got this thing has one thing on it that most other RVs do not. But for more information on this particular camper or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy. But let's get on to this Inferno. Let's go ahead and talk to you about this. So this is a 2009 4012, so it's gonna be about 42 foot long or so. We have already prepped this unit. It's ready to go. It's a Maryland State inspection, guaranteed to pass your inspection if you're not in the state of Maryland. Uh, has a generator. But let's go on inside and take a look at this. As you see on the outside, you have the slide toppers, your awning, outside stereo speakers. This thing even has a toy lock in the back, so if you want to un uh, lock up some toys, you can on the outside. This is a triple axle, folks, so this is a heavy camper. Well, let's go on inside and take a look at this thing. So as you come in the door, this is what you're going to kind of see. You know, your kitchen area. This has opposing slides. The sofa. It opens up to a bed. Then, of course, you got this big U-shaped dinette on this side. And, of course, the table. I'll show you where that's stored. Stay with me when I get back into the toy hall area. Show you what that is. Now, see all the windows in here? Tons of windows. And it makes for a lot of light. A lot of ventilation. Of course, you can see for your kitchen. Of course, you have your you know refrigerator, your cooktop, microwave, oven. There's lighting, plenty of storage in here. Even, even has an extended countertop you have there. If you'd like, uh, cabinets up above the, uh, the dinette booth area. Of course, it has a TV back here. Nice little TV cabinet made to look kind of residential. Now, what you're going to notice, you have a door on the right, door on the left. Door on the left here, a couple steps, you're up into the bathroom. Door on the right, you're going into the into the bedroom. So let's go on up and take a look as we go into the bedroom. Nice thing you're going to notice is we do not have carpet on these stairs. All your controls are going to be right here on the wall. So everything right there for you. As you come up in the bed, or bedroom, of course you can see it has a nice little glass glass door here. Non, it's non see through. You see you're going to have it, it is a bed slide. As you can see on this side here, you're going to notice you have, look at the windows you have there. Tons of windows. Of course, they do have shades. And of course, you can see you have your, your dresser there. Storage over there. Of course, your TV. You've got a nice big mirror as you come in. Full length mirror. Of course, your closet, as you can see, and it has a light in it. Lots of storage in, in there, as you can see. Then, of course, this is this little storage area here as well. Kind of let you see that. Now, of course, for the bed, as you can see on either side of the bed, you're going to have windows. This is a queen size bed, and this does have air conditioning up here. Now, this air conditioner is going to blow up here. The other AC will uh, blow up here as well. It has two vents, as you can see. But now that gives you a warm air return. So as we go into the bathroom, you see you have a pocket door for the bathroom, so you have privacy. Of course, you can see you have the medicine cabinet with the nice lighting. Your counter. You can see, of course, you know, your sink and so forth. Nice corner shower. Of course, you do have an AC duct in here, as well as a um, as well as a furnace uh, heater duct. And this is a porcelain tile uh, porcelain tile uh, porcelain type uh, toilet, so it's not plastic like some of the cheaper ones. You're going to notice also as we come back into the into this area, notice the, your your speakers in the ceiling. Of course, the AC is in this in this room here. It gives you a warm air return. And there is a power vent fan that you can use. So now let's get back into the storage area. Well, I, I'm sorry, before we get into the storage area, one thing that the, the uh, adults like about this and, and the kids is the fact that you have stairs 
to get up to the loft bed area. So you can see, and it's a, it's a nice, good size loft bed area. And I mean, you know, two adults could sleep up here if need be. And you can actually put a TV up there as well. There's a vent if you need it. Of course, you have the window if you want an additional vent. And of course, as you're coming up the steps, you can see the has the window there. So that's that. So now let's get into the storage area. So this is your garage. Of course, you have a ladder to get up on the roof. But now you have two beds up in here. And, you know, you can fold it down. So you can have it for a sofa looking out, or you can have it for a sofa looking in. Now that door does open up, and you do have a screen. Of course, you have the door here. You have vents. You know, one's going to be high. The other vent's going to be low. Those are, you know, while you're towing. But this is where you store the table for out by the uh, U-shaped dinette. You also have some bar stools. Now, the bar stools can be used for this table that flips up here, or it can be used for inside there. But now here is the kicker, folks. You don't see this too often. You have your own kegerator right in here. Right above it, you can put a TV. So, folks, this kegerator comes already stocked, already ready. All you need to do is put your keg in there, and you're ready to rock and roll. So that is something you don't see every day. So, again, folks, this is a 2009 Inferno. It's the model number is 4012. We have it listed at 39.9. We accept trades. We accept offers as well. But for more information on this camper or any others, please do. Ask for Paul the Air Force guy if you call, if you email, or if you stop by. Check out my other videos. Love to hear your comments out there, good or bad, and appreciate you watching. Thanks again. We'll come at you shortly.